Mzansi, the infamous sneaker deal between AKA and Reebok, which birthed the sneaker AA, infuriated a lot of fans when the deal collapsed. Now, if that was not enough, Mzansi, AKA went on to state that he was not paid a single cent for the deal, and that saw hashtag Reebok must fall movement gaining momentum. And now it all comes out, Mzansi, that he lied. Hey, hey, Mzansi, hello, and welcome to Entertainment News, Mzansi. If you're new to my channel, you know you have other stories, go ahead, click the subscribe button, and of course the bell and you'll never miss an update that's why it's called celebrity blogging because it is op opinions and not facts it only facts when it comes from the direct source and that is the person that you are discussing now i'm so much better and if my words don't come together Listen to the melody. That for me is a concern, and I feel like as black people, we should start, you know, calling each other. Okay, Mzansi. Now, before I get on to AKA's fibs, let me tell you that is clips from my new personal channel, Lelo and Channel, where I do podcasts and a whole lot more. Now, if you love this channel, you're gonna love that one even better. So please do go ahead and subscribe. You'll find the link on the description box, or you wait for the video at the end of this video, and it will direct you to that channel and thank you so much and i love you so much and i'm receiving all the love and i just thank you and it's officially wrote to 100 000 subscribers on this channel and it wouldn't have been possible without you now let's get on to today's story so Mzansi, so what had happened was AKA and Reebok collaborated in a sneaker deal which only lasted for a few months, all right? Now shortly after that, AKA announced that the deal fell off and that he was not compensated. Can you believe they didn't pay me a single cent for this? Not one cent. I had no choice. It was always a dream of mine to have my own sneaker. I guess I guess that's why I took a shitty deal in exchange for doing something for the culture. Probably never again they refused to give me any sort of payment or royalty now Mzansi, after this fans all expressed anger over the failed deal years later he comes out to reveal that he was actually paid 120,000 rent every single month i said i didn't get a cent from the sneaker not from the deal i was paid 120k every month for nearly two years i think hope that clears it up for you he said responding to fans debating about this a fan said fake tabloids when he's the one who actually tweeted this i'm done with y'all now following these claims rubik attempted to clear its name from aka ransom Zanzi. in a statement uh, they said in october 2019 we executed a successful launch of the Reebok sneak aa upon entering into the relationship both parties were happy with the agreement and the terms of the launch were not disputed now Reebok met all our, of our contractual obligations related to the launch earlier this year Reebok communicated with aka and his management that due to shift in strategy we would not be able to renew his contract as an ambassador for the brand the statement read now Reebok is thus very disappointed to be learning of the issues raised in social media as we believe the relationship to still be a strong footing to negotiate potential future deals said other company Mzansi yikes now this was caused by his collaboration with a drip Mzansi fans expressed disbelief when aka shared an image of him taking pics with Legao and others saying he took Nadia from Casper and now his business partner Mzansi yikes now now, they once showed that they are not exactly beefing when they high-fived high each other, Mzansi. Remember that in the soccer pitch during the celebrity soccer matches? Now, a fan pointed that out. Why you guys always think at AKA Worldwide and Casper Njavis are beefing? These two niggas are just full of competitive high school agenda, always trying to prove a point to the public on who's better than who financially and musically. This is not beef, but clout, wrote Tazio Sihlo. Or maybe perhaps it's not beef, but it's marketing, Mzansi. It's marketing. If they continue this beefing scenario and uh, this uh, beefing whatever that they're doing, then they keep on trending and they stay on our lips and we never forget about them. Now, there you have it, Mzansi. AKA lied. He was paid 120K and uh, he lied that he wasn't paid. And of course, 
the fans, they jumped onto Ribic's throat and they protested, Viva AKA, we want the money, while AKA was chowing the money. Yikes. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. You know, I love to hear from you, but for now, you know, I will bring you the updates.